When we're dealing with inequalities, and we're trying to graph them, we need to keep in mind if we're using an open circle or closed circle. Let me explain what I mean in a moment, but we should also say that the closed symbol, this one right here that I'm filling in, matches up with the two signs that are less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So if you see this uh, equal to sign right here at the bottom, this little line means equal to, then you're going to deal with this filled in dot. If you have an open circle, this is referring to the less than sign or the greater than sign. And you'll deal with problems that have a variable, x is greater than 1, or x is less than 1, x is greater than or equal to 1, and x is less than or equal to 1. What this is saying is, in this value, x can have any number of answers. It's not just one value, but many. Same thing here, anything less than 1. There are an infinite number of numbers that are less than 1. The only difference here is that x can also be 1. It's saying x is greater than or equal to 1. And we can see this on a number line by plotting the values. So if we have a number line and we're trying to plot these values, we keep it simple. We only need a few numbers, 0, 1, and 2, to show these four ideas. Um, if we have x is greater than 1, we would draw an open circle at 1, and then an arrow to the right because it's greater than 1. But if we have x is less than 1, we go in the other direction. If we have x is greater than or equal to 1, we fill the dot in. It's a closed circle. That indicates that 1 could be an answer. And if we're greater than or equal to 1, we go this way. And for less than or equal to 1, we go this way. That's the basic idea. And you might encounter some simple problems um, where you solve for x, just like an equation, but now it's with an inequality. Like 3x plus 1 is greater than 6. So what you then have, let's fix that, I'm sorry. Let's do greater than, we want to keep the idea simple. Let's do greater than 10. So now you solve for x. We do this by balancing the equation. I want to get x by itself, so let's get rid of this 1 by subtracting 1. And treat it just like you would an equation. Just keep track that we have an inequality here. 1 minus 1 is 0, so only 3x is left on this side. 10 minus 1 is 9. And then we divide by 3. And we get x is greater than 3, which is our answer. So we don't have one value for an answer. We have many. and what we could do then is plot the answer. x is greater than 3. And we're going to give me a couple of dashes, 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and draw an open circle on 3, and go to the right, because it's greater than 3, and we're done. This is the basic idea.